How far would you go for the Gamecocks? You know, it was tough because the first 23 hours the generator was broken, so we couldn't even play Xbox. It was a lot of monopoly, but once we hit Texas, we realized like kind of what what we were getting into. Like we're driving half, we're driving all the way across the country pretty much just to watch the Cox play. 23 hours out of a 30-hour RV trip to Phoenix for nine South Carolina students determined to make it to the Final Four. And what's a 30-hour trip in an RV like? Very <laughs> uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable, but. If your destination is worth it, I mean, it's, it's all worth it. It's all worth it. That's all that matters. But you be the judge. RV organizer and USC senior Cam Vogel took us around for a tour. I mean, you got, you got the master bedroom back here. We had to make sure we brought a TV big enough. The shower, of course, no, nobody used. Not a single person used. And after 30 hours, you learn the tricks of the trade. Take that out, and then you can put this below the curtains, and it turns into another bed. But for Vogel, there was no question he'd be here. I've been going to games since freshman year, and I mean, we're in the Final Four. Like, I had to come. It wasn't an option. For the riders, things got a little bleak, a little over halfway through the trip. When we got to Texas, I was about done. I was like, I'm ready to be at Arizona. I don't want to be in this RV anymore. We were already 18, 20 hours in. We're like, yeah, we still have another 12 hours to go. But again, it was all worth it. Absolutely. Tears are going to be shed whether we win or lose. So being here is absolutely amazing. And I wanted to go to New York, but we saved our money in case we made it to Phoenix. And I'm glad that we saved our money because we did make it. And now we're here. 30 hours in an RV for 40 minutes of basketball in the final four today as a reward. From Glendale, Brian Principe. Let's go Cox! Let's go! Carolina News.